Oh, when I get a call, it cuts off. So annoying. And it's scam likely. Scam likely. Okay. In this you greatly rejoice, though now, for a while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials. Well, I guess it's need be, but uh, doesn't, I don't think it's need be. I didn't think I needed. But at the same time, what happens? I'm going through these trials. Face challenges, go into myself, get more into Abraham Hicks and spirituality, go more into myself, um, start doing this. So look at look at this. Uh, I didn't think need be, but apparently need be that I didn't know. Something knew better than me. So I'm thrashed on the rocks, exploded, burned. Uh, that the genuineness of your faith, yeah, I mean, how do you practice faith if you're not going through trials, you know? So, you gotta put your money where your mouth is. Put up or shut up. Faith, yes, I have faith. Being much more precious than gold that perishes. So your faith is more precious than gold. Gold perishes. Though it is tested by fire, May be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom not, whom having not seen you love. Well, I guess he didn't see me love, and you know what? I guess she was right. I was loving, but not enough. I mean, if unconditional love is our goal, or we say it's our goal, better be careful what you make your goals. If you, someone once told me one time, like back when I first started to um, <clears throat> learn about Christianity, not the Roman Catholic kind, but um, the non-denominational, maybe a little Baptist kind. They said something, I was like, why is this happening to me? And someone said, uh, you didn't pray for patience, did you? And I was like, yes, of course I did. I need patience. And they were like, no. If you pay for pray, patience, pray, pray for patience, you'll have things that will require you to be patient, which will be frustrating if you are not patient. I was like, oh, crap. So like, you have to be careful. Are you praying for strength? Because if you are, then you're going to get things happen to you that require you to be strong, which are going to be difficult. It's hard. It's hard to know. It's hard to know. So, uh, yeah, if you pray for unconditional love, guess what? Oh, you're going to be in for it. That's okay. Because if you achieve it, well, how amazing. How amazing is that? If I achieve unconditional love, I'll probably be dead. I mean, isn't that when you're just like, oh, you're done. School class is over. You graduated. I don't know, but that seems pretty amazing. I mean, who achieved unconditional love? Maybe a lot of people we don't know about, but I mean, Mother Teresa, Gandhi, these people that we all know about because that's so like, what? How is this person a thing? Because it's amazing. So few of us can achieve it. Though now you do not see him, yet believing, you rejoice with joy, inexpressible and full of glory. Yes, inexpressible. Joy. Nice. Now I think this is from Joel Osteen. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Second Corinthians 4, 8-9. That's nice. Yeah. We're stuck in the vice of life. But we know we're going to be okay. Yeah. Let's see what Joel has to say about it. Take responsibility for your own actions. You may have experienced some unfair things in the past that made life more difficult for you. But you 
our attitude should be, I'm not going to sit around and moan and complain about how I was raised or about how somebody mistreated me. No, this is the life God has given me and I'm going to make the most of it. I'm going to make good choices starting today. You could say that. I'd say that every day. That'd be awesome if you said that every day. Like all the cells in your body would, would hear that and vibrate with that. And then you might not believe it, but eventually you will. It will become a part of you. Take responsibility for your own actions. You may have experienced some unfair things in the past that made life more difficult for you. And if you haven't, uh, let me know. Because we'll do a story about you or something. Because, wow, God bless. But I would also watch out because, well, your time's are coming. Not to scare you or anything, but yeah, this this is this is uh, this is not a skating lesson where you get outside and do a perfect. You're gonna fall on your butt. It's gonna hurt, but that's okay because that's how it goes. You get up. Babies would never walk if they didn't worry about getting hurt, or I mean, they don't worry about getting hurt because they don't know what that is. And they have big butts cushy fat butts to fall on but um, you know babies wouldn't no people would be able to walk if babies were upset about getting hurt or falling right so in yoga a lot of people don't try things because they're afraid to fall um, they're afraid to fall for a number of reasons one is because they're afraid to get hurt which is a, a um, natural human reaction but also because they don't want to be embarrassed in front of people. If you're afraid to get hurt when you fall, then you need to practice falling so that you fall correctly. You can catch yourself when you do, if you do, when you do. Um, the second one, that's all ego. So I would then suggest you get up in the front of class and do things that require you to fall every time until you don't care anymore. And finally, when they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. Psalm 91, 15. Yeah. So call on your higher spirit. God, love, universe. Call on anything to, to be with you during trials, during happiness, during everything. If you're lonely, right? I'm alone, I live alone. I'm alone a lot. I'm actually alone a lot right now because I choose to be. Um, but I never feel alone alone. Never, never, never. And yes, I know I can call family and I can call friends and I can go out and do things, but still, I never feel alone because I know I'm not alone. I know I'm part of a collective consciousness. I know I'm part of the whole network and the fiber of life and the world. I'm connected to all of it. And I just have to go to the beach and put my feet in the sand and sit with the seagulls. <clears throat> all right, peace out and gratitude. Have a good day.